Joe Santola, the health officer for Queen Anne County, as well as the EMS medical director. And I think we're all here today to celebrate this wonderful award that has pre been presented to the Mobile Integrated Community Health pilot that initially started three years ago. This time three years ago, we were getting ready to go before the MIMS board for approval of this pilot program for Maryland. And as you all know, all of you sitting in this room have worked very diligently for over five years to get where we are today. We initially started thinking about community power medicine, mobile integrated health back in 2010. And finally, in 2012, we were given the opportunity because of both the integration and the cooperation of the Department of Emergency Services and the Queen Anne County Department of Health, we're able to sit down with our other partners in Queen Anne County, specifically aging, social services, and the hospital, Shore Regional Health. And we were able to develop mobile integrated community health that we presented to the Maryland Institute for Emergency Services, MIMS, and were able to then get approved as the pilot for the state of Maryland. Started three years ago. Matter of fact, August 2014 was our first true telemed or community paramedicine visit to our citizens. We initially started looking at high utilization of our 911 system. And we evolved, and we evolved very rapidly. We started looking at direct referrals from our EMS providers for those patients that they felt would benefit by the integration of linking these patients with the existing services that currently exist in Queen Anne County. And then we went to post-discharge. And with this current uncertainty in the healthcare industry, the insurance industry, and in our nation, we here in Queen Anne County, through this innovative program, have been able to significantly impact the health outcomes of our patients and our citizens in Queen Anne County. And it is with this presentation today of this telemedicine grant from Care First to this program that allows us to now do greater innovation in that we link the team, which is a health department nurse and an DES paramedic, with our PharmD, Melanie, from Shore Regional Health, so that we are truly completing the circle. The plan in the future, which will be August of this year, is we're now going to complete that circle even more. We're going to try and now use the telemedicine piece to then link the primary care physician of that patient with our PharmD and our MIC team as we're making the visits at home so that this will also help with the outcomes and improve the overall health status of our patients. So that is a brief overview of where we have been with this history. And yes, Maryland is now expanding mobile integrated health. Prince George's County is program running. Um, Montgomery County is running a similar program. Charles County is getting ready to start a program. And Salisbury Fire Department is also actively engaged in starting mobile integrated health. And at this time, I'd like to introduce our Care First leadership, who have been so helpful, encouraging, and responsive to our request. Julie Wagner, Vice President of Community Affairs for Care First, come on up. Hosanna Means. Hosanna has been the grants manager for Care First, and she's been intimately attached to uh, somebody's side over here as we <laughs> navigated through this. Kimberly Downs, Community Affairs Representative for Care First. And I'd also like to have Chesapeake Charities. You have been a key place in developing our request for this grant. So I'd also like to acknowledge Greg Todd, who is our county administrator. Scott Haas, EMS director, please. And where is our uh, 
new nursing director? <laughs> Bobby, come on up, please. Bobby is going to be assuming the ultimate task of being our director of nursing here as of uh, Friday for the health department. Marianne Thompson, can you please come up, please? Our retiring Marianne. director of nursing. Jared, can you please come up? Jared is our lead paramedic. <laughs> who has been an active director and force in developing this whole mobile integrated community health. And I will give this now to uh, Greg Todd. Well, thank you, Dr. C. On behalf of the county commissioners, I want to congratulate you on getting this $400,000 grant. And I'm also excited every year about, gee, about this time, Dr. C. will walk over to my office with a check for the money that he saved during the year. So I'm looking forward to each year for the next three years having another $133,000 in that check you give back to me. That's about right, isn't it? So congratulations. Um, <laughs> no pressure. I know Dr. C's worked hard on this and it's been a great program in cooperation with our DS folks and the health department. So I'm just I'm proud of you and I know the commissioners are and they wish they could be here today. But as you know, we've got a couple illnesses out there so, so they couldn't show, so I'm here for you. So thanks. Well, thank you very much. You know, Care First, um, when we embarked upon this grant round, we received a lot of amazing applications, and it was very difficult. And Hosanna does a wonderful job in leading our efforts in that and bringing in experts from all around the state and national ex experts to help us evaluate this. So as a not-for-profit health insurer, really doing these types of grants is part of our mission to really improve the health of not only our members, but the entire community. So we get to do these wonderful projects. And those experts looked at these many, many proposals. And this, this project really rose to the fore. And I, I give you credit, Dr. C, for really um, spearheading this effort here on the shore. And as Hosanna and I were remarking earlier, this really has been the, the um, catalyst for so many other similar programs. And so for Care First to be able to add to that, to really expand access to the telemedicine part, to really innovate in this area with you is really our pleasure. And we are just so pleased to make this award and to be able to celebrate with you today. We love coming out to celebrate wonderful work in the community. We can't say, I think, anything more, but thank you so much. Uh, for doing what you do every day. I know there's so many members of the team are here up with us and, and in, in, in the crowd here enjoying a little breakfast. So thank you very much from Care First. And we're happy to present this to you today. Thank you very much. Hosanna, would you like to say anything? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, no, it is, it's been a, a real joy to work with everyone here over the last year. Um, and as Julie mentioned, it was quite the process to review all of those applications and make the recommendations. But all of our external reviewers and our internal reviewers really gave this grant high, high marks. So um, we're really excited to be here to expand access to quality care. I think adding the component of the, the pharmacist via telemedicine was really kind of like what took it over the, the top for us. And it was just such an innovative approach. Um, and kind of, a, it made sense. Um, and it seemed like the, the being able to do it seemed like a very logical thing to do. So we're just really excited to be partners with you all for over the next few years to get this uh, project started or continue the work. Um, I'm just very proud to be a part of this program as well, but I also have to give kudos to the paramedics who are out here with us today and their nurses and PharmD because without them, we don't even have the program. They're the ones that are out there in the homes and seeing the health of their citizens, and they are really the ones who are making a difference. So thank you, paramedics, nurses. I just want to say I, um, I've been involved in the planning of this from the ground zero, and it's been real exciting seeing it grow, seeing it actually come to fruition and see patients, and, and it's still growing, and it's just been a great adventure, and I think it'll continue for many years. It's doing a lot of good here in the community, and we have a really hardworking team that really cares about this county, and I'm proud to be part of it, and looking forward to retirement. <laughs> Jared? 
Okay. Just start tomorrow. Start tomorrow's my last day. I would like everybody in the room to please stand and give yourself a round of applause for the hard work and dedication that all of you have put into this program. So please. <laughs> <laughs>